humans, I'm Mr. King. Alright, look at this question given. In a titration, blah 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 blah. So, first one, what was the color of methyl orange in aqueous sodium hydroxide? See, remember, sodium hydroxide is an alkaline. So, in alkaline, it is yellow in color. Okay, next, calculate the numbers of moles of sodium hydroxide. So, we are asked to look for the moles of sodium hydroxide. Remember, okay, first thing to do always look for the information given. So, what are the information given about sodium hydroxide? Okay, you see, 25 cm cube and 0 0.2 mole per dm cube. Okay, we are given with volume and concentration. Therefore, formula to use, number almost equals concentration times volume. So, concentration 0 0.2, remember, you see, Volume given to you here is in cmq, therefore you have to convert it into dmq first. And so eventually answer 0 0.005 mol. Very easy. Okay, next, calculate the numbers of moles of sulfuric acid added into the burette. So you see, moles of sulfuric acid. So in this case, you have to refer to the chemical equation given to you. Remember, okay, you can always compare the moles, okay, by comparing to the ratio, ratio so called the numbers that you use to balance the equation. All right, look at the chemical equation. The ratio between sodium hydroxide and sulfur acid is 2 to 1. Yeah, and we know that the moles of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.005 mole. Okay, ratio 2 to 1, therefore the moles of sulfur acid equals 0 0.005 mole divided by 2, yeah, which is 0 0.0025. That's the answer. Okay, very easy. Okay, you can just compare the ratio. Okay, next, what is the concentration of sulfuric acid? Okay, concentration with the formula N equals to CV. Number of moles, we know it is 0 0.0025. Concentration, we do know volume. You see, based on the question given, the volumes of sulfuric acid is 0 0.002. So eventually, the answer 0 0.125 mole per dm cube. Okay, next, the concentration of sulfur acid in grams per dm cube. So, okay, one thing to take note, you see, okay, concentration, the unit can be mole per dm cube or grams per dm cube. To convert from mole per dm cube to gram per dm cube, we can multiply with the relative molecular mass, same thing. To convert grams per dm cube back to mole per dm cube, okay, it can be divided by the molar mass, okay, so called the relative molecular mass. So, in this case, okay, we wanted to get a concentration in grams per dm cube. Okay? Therefore, 0 0.125 mole per dm cube multiplied with the molar mass of sulfuric acid, as stated here. Very right, easy. Okay, next, then look for the percentage U. And we know that the formula of percentage U equals actual mass divided by calculated mass times 100%. And in this case, 4.8 grams is the actual mass. So now we have to use the information given to us to look for the calculator mass. So first, look for the moles of FeSO4. Then you get 0 0.1 mole. Then compare ratio 2 to 1. The moles of Fe2O3 it is 0 0.05 mole. Then look for the mass, yeah, which is the calculator mass. And it is 8 grams. So apply it into the formula, so answer 4.8 grams divided by 8 times 100%, so eventually the answer is 60%. Okay, next, empirical formula, so you give away CHO, remember first, look for the percentage, then followed by moles and lastly ratio. Okay, so this is how I get it. Alright, okay, you see how to look for the relative molecular formula from empirical formula. You see, given to you here, empirical formula is C2H4O, whereas the molecular mass is 88. So we need to know, okay, what is the molecular formula okay, of the compound with the mass of 88. And okay, we need to look for the factors. So C2H4O, you have to convert it into the molecular mass. Okay, you see, 1 carbon equals to 12, hydrogen 1, O16. Therefore, the total mass of C2H4O is 44. It will obtain N equals to 2, which means the factors is 2. We have to times the 2 into the empirical formula. Okay, therefore, the molecular formula is C4H8O2. That's it. Very easy, isn't it?
Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.